Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is they left you. The scripture comes from Syrah 34 and 7. For dreams have led many astray and they have failed by putting their hope in them. God said for somebody, <clears throat> I'm going to finish uh, without... Siri, I was not talking to you, sis. Without lying, the law will be accomplished, and wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. God said, for someone, there is someone that left you, and they left you because you don't fit into the dream that they had. So maybe they, they had dreams that their spouse would look a certain way. Or they had dreams that their spouse would have a certain profession. They had dreams that they would have a certain kind of dynamic or relationship with their spouse. They had dreams that they feel like you don't fit into their dreams. And so every time they see someone that does fit into their dreams, they start chasing after that person. God said their dreams are leading them astray. The dreams and this fairy tale that they have in their mind, like, you know, this is somebody that they may, they may, even if they don't act like it, they, they dream a lot. They have fantasies a lot. God said the fantasies and the dreams that they have are leading them to go down a rabbit hole and they not finna find the reality that they looking for. Your spouse is in la-la land. Okay, long story short, for whoever this is for, your spouse is in la-la land. They are not going to get the, like, what they are seeking, they not finna find it. And, you know what I'm saying, God is showing them that. It's like every time they start, like, I just feel like they'll be walking down the trail with you. Y'all almost to the castle. Like y'all right here, the castle right here. Y'all walking towards the castle. Y'all almost there. Every time while y'all walking, they see somebody that fits their dreams more than you do. You may be perfect. But from from their perspective, there is something maybe the person in a dream have blonde hair and you you know you got ginger hair, so you don't match the person. Or maybe the person in a dream had, you know, a, a yellow undertone. You got red undertone. I'm just looking at myself, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe it's something different. Maybe they maybe that person was chocolate. You not chocolate. So they you know what I'm saying, they they kinda like Every time they see somebody that fits what their dreams show them or what they think or what they daydreamed about since they was a little child, they see that person, they tell you they'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? Or they don't tell you nothing. They just dip off. You look at from side to side like, where did they go? They then took off with this person. And because they don't want you to see them, they then went through the forest. They, they, they all off on the side roads going the opposite way of the castle. And you stuck on the road to the castle looking back and forth trying to figure out where they went. Now, here's the thing. Here's the catch. Here's the catch. They left you now. You only go stand there looking for them and looking at your watch for a certain amount of time before you say, you know what, I'm not finna stay. It's about to get dark. You know what I'm saying? It may be a wolf or a bear or something like that out here, a lion or something, or a, a zebra. Well, a zebra, whatever. Zebras can be dangerous. Okay, whatever. And you're going to be like, you know what, I'm going to carry on and I'm going to go on into the castle. I'm going on into the castle by one deep. It is what it is. You're going to go on into the castle. And, and you know what I'm saying? They, you lose, you lose. You know what I'm saying? They didn't went off. They going through zigzags. And they going, they, they got to deal with the trees. They may have to encounter a bear or two. They may end up encountering a wolf or two, a zebra or two, a lion or two. But that's their problem. Because they are the ones that keep on going off of the path to chase after people that they think they have fantasies about these people, daydreaming about these people and imagining they're going to do this and they're going to do that. This is fantasy now. You are showing them that you are who you say you are. If somebody, you know what I'm saying, somebody meet me, I'm going to say when I get my cat, I'm going to have me a garden out back. I'm not playing. I got a garden now. This is not a fantasy. This is not make-believe. This is real life.
You know what I'm saying? It's not a situation. I have videos and pictures of the garden I had before. This is not fantasy. This is not make-believe. This real life. Real life. You know what I'm saying? It is not something that I'm making up. You know what I'm saying? I, I know how to... I lived off grid. I still... Even though, you know what I'm saying? The channel I had before is gone. But I, I have videos and proof of me living off grid and doing things off grid. This is not fantasy. This is not make-believe. This is real life. I just feel like this is somebody they going off on fantasy. They going off on make-believe. They making believe that this person that they go, you know what I'm saying? God said they going off into the forest and they gonna have to encounter bears and, and dragons and wolves and all kind of stuff. You don't have no reason. You're not chasing after them and you couldn't even if you, even if you wanted to because they trying to be sneaky they trying to sneak away and do this and sneak away and do that and they want you to stay there and wait on them god said you're not finna stand there and wait on them <coughs> that's dangerous that's dangerous you don't have time to stand there waiting on them you don't have time to so you know what i'm saying get you a chair and sit down and wait and see if they gonna come back they may not sorry I'm being real. They, the, if they get out there, and it's not to say they're going to end up with this person. They may get caught up with one of them bears. They may get caught up with one of them wolves. They may get caught up with a, a, a have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a zebra. They may have to. And I know some people going to be laughing like zebra, like seriously, zebras are dangerous. It's a reason that we don't ride zebras, y'all. <laughs> For those that don't, don't. For those that never, as somebody that has ridden horses before, <coughs> as a country girl <coughs> who rode horses before as a child, baby, it's the reason we don't ride zebras. It's the reason I didn't been to the little, you know, to the horse track it out. It's the reason we don't ride zebras. <laughs> It don't matter how much you try to trade and tame them things. No, they going to book back at you. Okay, they going to book at you. They for all means necessary. You not riding them. Anyways, God says this person may have to count a few things. And that may be why God keep on saying that. Because I just peeped it. You know what I'm saying? A horse is tameable. A zebra is not. This is somebody that's trying to tame something that's, uh, that's not tameable. This is somebody that's trying to tame somebody. They can't tame this person. This is somebody, every time they try to convince them they should do this, or you could do that, or you could do this, and you could do that. For some of you, they trying to turn this person into you, but they not finna do that. God said they may get caught up with that zebra. They may get caught up with that. They gonna cut, keep on chasing and keep on chasing and keep on chasing. And it's like some men have this mentality where they feel like they need to tame a woman. And once they tame that woman, they discard and they move on. God said it may be a situation where they gonna keep on trying to tame that woman and she not gonna be tameable. And they gonna get caught up. It's gonna be to such an extent they didn't got lost in the forest. They ain't gonna never make it to the castle. You go on to the castle by yourself. <clears throat> now, I know some of you will be like, why they don't want to say me? I mean, in reality, like, what what can you do? This is somebody that's chasing after a dream. This is somebody that is in La La Land. You know what I'm saying? Simultaneously, yeah. You're not tame because if you was tame, you would sit there and wait on them looking stupid. God said you're not finna sit there and wait on them looking stupid. You're not finna just stand there in the twilight zone. You know, It's not going to be a situation where you're going to be sitting there with, you know what I'm saying, with your tail between your legs, thinking that you just got to wait on them. And, oh, no, you couldn't possibly go on without them. And what will I do? And where will I go? And how will things fall? In? God said everything going to fall into line for you regardless. You almost to the castle. It's a two-well situation if they don't want to go. You can't make them go. You cannot force this person. You can't force their hand. If they insist on going and chasing after whoever this person is that they've been daydreaming about, like, that's what it is. And in reality, who wants to be with somebody like that? Because if they the kind of person where they always sitting around daydreaming about somebody. 
and they want to be with this one and they got to have this and they got to like let them go on now <clears throat> that's what they always gonna do they always gonna do that it's always like it's always gonna be somebody that's gonna look attractive it's always gonna be somebody that's gonna look nice you know what i'm saying and it's one thing to <coughs> find your person. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all own, like, y'all minds is the same. Y'all hearts is the same. And maybe physically they not all the way there. But, I mean, it ain't nothing to, you know what I'm saying, get in the gym. It ain't. We live in a world today. You can build somebody up to be either your perfect match, <coughs> to be exactly how you want them to be. And I'm not saying that you should go under the knife to make somebody attracted to you. <clears throat> but I am saying that for somebody that thinks like this, they always looking for somebody that's better. They always looking for somebody that they, they, they want their dreams to be a reality. Like, this is somebody they go always, always be going around in circles trying to make this dream a reality. God said it's never going to come. Anyways, that's the message. Let them go. Go and say, let them go. You go go on to the castle by yourself. You don't have to be with them. You don't just have to have your house with them. You don't just have to have your house with them. You can qualify to be the queen and the king of your castle. If they just so seriously don't want to be there, that's fine. That's their business. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.